It is with great concern that we address the recent events surrounding Credit Bulls Investments, a finance company based in Jamnagar, Gujarat, India. The company has been implicated in a significant financial fraud, which has deeply impacted the trust and financial security of approximately 2,000 investors, with investments ranging between 200 to 300 crore rupees. This situation has left many individuals facing considerable losses of their hard-earned funds. On March 28, 2024, an official first information report FIR was filed against Mr. Dhaval Solani, the CEO of Credit Bulls Investments, and his associates at the Jamnagar B Division Police Station in Gujarat, India. Mr. Dhaval Solani is suspected to have fled to Dubai, presumably to evade legal consequences in his home country. Meanwhile, Mr. Pankaj Vadgama, the regional head of Credit Bulls Investments, has been apprehended and is currently under police custody since March 28, 2024. The key figures identified in the fraudulent scheme include Mr. Pankaj Vadgama Regional Head, M's, Dhara Bharadia Regional Sales Head, M's, Dhara Joshi Sales Executive, and M's, Dimple Prajapati Investment Consultant. These individuals are believed to have collaborated in enticing investors through various means, including persistent communication and false assurances, thus playing integral roles in executing this fraudulent enterprise. Upon contacting M's, Dhara Bharadia, she vehemently asserts her innocence, claiming ignorance regarding the fraud allegations. She maintains that she invested 14 lakh rupees herself, of which Dhaval Solani reimbursed her 10 lakhs. Additionally, she states that she tendered her resignation from Credit Bulls Investments on March 22, 2024 and despite this, did not receive her March salary. M's Dhara Bharadia asserts that she took the initiative to visit the police station to report the incident firsthand. However, there are suspicions regarding the veracity of her claims, with concerns that she may be fabricating these statements in an attempt to evade legal repercussions. The situation is indeed complex and distressing for all involved. It's understandable that there would be confusion and attempts to deflect blame, especially given the gravity of the allegations. M's, Dhara Bharadia's claims of innocence and victimhood should be examined with scrutiny, especially in the context of her role as the regional sales head. Even if she personally invested in the company and claims to have suffered losses, her position of authority within the organization suggests a level of complicity or, at the very least, awareness of the fraudulent activities. Her resignation prior to the exposure of the fraud and her purported visit to the police station could be interpreted as attempts to distance herself from the scandal and create a narrative of innocence. However, resignation alone does not absolve one of potential involvement in criminal activities that occurred during their tenure. Law enforcement authorities and legal experts would need to thoroughly investigate M's, Dhara Bharadia's involvement and gather evidence to ascertain her level of culpability in the scheme. It's essential to consider her role within the company, her knowledge of the operations, and any direct or indirect involvement in fraudulent activities. Ultimately, transparency, accountability, and adhesion.